Trey Turner, the Philly, congratulations. We were on set the day it happened, and we were talking about how it was the most impactful move of the offseason. Why Philadelphia for you, Trey? Just everything. I mean, I think uh, we had so many conversations between me and my wife and my parents and in-laws and just weighing all options and, um, you know, just the situation, the city, uh, location, uh, the team they have, just a little bit of everything I think was was the answer. And uh, we're super excited to be here. And uh, it's been a lot of fun already. Uh, it's only been a couple of weeks, but it's uh, it feels like the, the right decision and uh, we're super happy about it. I think you kind of realize how many Philly fans there are. I've been seeing them <laughs> we everywhere. We heard in the World Series. I know, Holy I know, cow. I know. I mean, I knew it was a baseball town, but, um, you know, when you come to spring training, you see the support and you see, uh, you know, people on the streets and um, walking around the town and um, everyone's in their Phillies gear. And, you know, it kind of shows you how, how passionate they are and, and uh, how big the fan base is. So it's been, it's been a lot of fun interacting with them. Uh, you're one of the greatest athletes in all of baseball, and specifically your speed. It's elite. And now that the bases are a little bit bigger, I'm curious to see, are we going to see you run even more now? Uh, yeah, I keep getting this question. I keep, uh, <laughs> I, feel like, I feel like the pressure's on to steal like <laughs> 60, 70 bases, something ridiculous. But uh, for me, I, I always want to score runs. So however many uh, stolen bases we need as a team to you know, score those runs, I think that's important to me. But it's just being efficient and, and, and giving what they, or taking what they give me. Yeah, I got a, I got a guy in the offseason I go to that I've been going to since, I think, sophomore year of high school. So it's, wow. been, it's been a long time. It's been, I think, 15 years or so. Um, but we go there, or I go there. Go there and work on form, uh, strength, speed, a little bit of everything. Kind of kicks my butt and uh, make sure make sure I'm healthy to to start the season and I can you know play that 162 games and then into the postseason. So um, I've been going to him for a long time. He's he's uh, done a great job for me and try to keep on top of it and improve on it. Trey, what else are you good at? Because you seem like that type of athlete oh, yeah, that can annoying, do anything, right? right? What are you bad at? How about that? Uh, I don't know. I, I, that's <laughs> what I, I well. I think I, I try to compete at everything. You know, I don't know if I'm good at anything, but I try to compete at everything. And um, you know, I run into guys like Rendon and Mookie Betts, and some guys that are just good at everything. And I'm like, damn, I got some work to do. So, uh, just trying to compete and have fun, and I enjoy that competition. So um, I'll compete at whatever board games, uh, anything. That coach you were talking about, was he responsible for the slide? Where did that come from? I've been doing that a long time. Don't get a scrape or a scab or any of those cuts on your legs or arms or anything like that. That's why I try to hit the ground as soft as possible and then get back up as quick as possible. I don't want to deal with, you know, bloody leggings and all sorts of stuff. And when you're sleeping at night and you get stuck to the bed, it's no fun. That's so the reason. That's the get up as quick as possible. Yeah. <laughs> Smooth. Hit the Who ground knew? as soft as possible and get up as quick as possible. I'm still not over you leaving my nationals.